Just ease on up and relax like that. Hey. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. You see it. We're back. So listen. Listen, Linda. Listen. I was supposed to see y'all at the airport. But it was a lot happening. Um, the devil was trying to prevent me from getting home and watching this union take place today. Because what had happened was, it's a 30 minute drive from the airport, from the hotel to the airport. But due to LA's traffic and whatever else events, concerts and games and things, it was like 45 minutes. So that was number one. Like my Uber, like I had to wait for the Uber then the time to get there was longer than what I had anticipated. So actually, I should have requested my Uber earlier. I should have requested my Uber at 9 o'clock is what I should have did. But it was like 9.30 when I actually requested it. Number two. In route, 10, 11 minutes from the airport, my Uber got into an accident. It wasn't his fault. It was the cab driver's fault. Because Uber driver was turning left. Cab driver, the, clearly, he's just elderly. He should not be driving. But I'm pretty sure he's doing what he gotta do. But he should be at home. Like, tending to a garden or lawn or something. But basically, he just didn't take his turn at the four-way stop. <clears throat> And like side swiped him. So he got like a streak like all down the passenger side. It just scared the shit out of me. I didn't know what was happening. Like I knew what was happening, but I didn't know what was happening. It scared me. Um, so yeah, I had to wait for them to exchange information, stuff like that. And literally as I'm sitting there in the back seat, I'm already having like a mini panic attack. Because I'm, I'm already behind the schedule that I had made in my head for myself because I didn't account for the traffic the flight boarded at 11 15. we got to the airport at 10 30. but while i'm sitting there i'm looking at my boarding pass on my phone while while he's exchanging information with the cab driver after the accident i'm looking at my boarding pass I can't say it, Ebony. Um, I realized my name was spelled incorrectly on my boarding pass. TSA don't play. TSA doesn't play about stuff like that. And I know you can't fix it in the app. Wait, my name was spelled incorrectly. It's off by one letter in one spot. And then my TSA pre-check wasn't on the boarding pass. So if the TSA line is stupid and I don't have the TSA pre-check on the boarding pass, they gonna make me wait in the line. I pay good money for that TSA pre-check and I'm gonna use it. Take me to the front of the line. So I had to stand in the customer service line and wait my turn <laughs> to fix that. And that literally took the whole 30 minutes. No, the the wait my turn and then 
getting to a representative and then her having to get a manager to fix it and then the manager still couldn't fix it they let them put the tsa pre-check but it wouldn't change my name like it wouldn't let them edit my last name so eventually the manager manager told her to just give me my boarding passes and um that tsa shouldn't say nothing because it's already approved in the computer as a secured ticket so when they look it up they're gonna see that it's approved and thank God it worked. We literally made it to the gate <laughs> with seven minutes to spare before they were boarding. Like I had time to pee. I had time to pee and then got back to the gate and we were boarding. We was in group one, first class, first row, window seat. Row one, window seat and tucked in. And that's what we did and we slept like slept so hard that when I was trying I woke up to reposition myself that lady said we will be landing in about 15 minutes I was somewhat thinking about getting a refreshment as I was repositioning <laughs> I didn't realize the flight was over with that's how hard I slept because I had been up since five o'clock I got up at five o'clock and then we worked 12 hours I slept real hard. So, yeah, that was it. And then it was nothing exciting happened on the layover besides 20 minutes getting from gate C to gate E in the Dallas-Fort Worth airport. And now we at the house. It is 9.52. I'm fixing to get my hair cut. Oh, we're home Sunday if you want to come through. Who's home? Oh. <laughs> um. Okay, yeah. I'm going to get a haircut. And then we're going to go home and try on some clothes. I got so much footage I need to edit for y'all. Like, honestly, today is... Take note. Today is October 14th. I don't know when y'all gonna get this video because I got at least two other videos that I need to edit and give y'all. And I was trying to participate in the Vlogtober, which is what I talked about in the last video. But when that opportunity came up to go to Cali and work last night, I had to do what I, or last week, I had to do what I had to go do because that is what pays the bills right now. You know, one day, this content creating will pay it for me, but right now it don't. So I had to put the editing to the side but i really do want to edit this stuff and get it out for y'all i don't know what i'm gonna do with this hair but i made me a nice little sephora with in <sighs> a nice little sephora instacart because i didn't have time to go to sephora but there were some things i wanted from sephora um and i'll show y'all what it is when we get to the house and i just i just pray there's something in all of this stuff that I ordered that I just love when I try it on. And I hope my feet don't fall off my ankles from pain with these shoes. Everything is a mess, so we're going to have a no judgment zone right now. Um, focus. Oh, my God. Laundry that needs to be folded. Those are my Amazon boxes. Um, of the stuff that I ordered. This is boob tape. If it actually works and it's good, it'll definitely be linked down below at my Amazon storefront. I'm going to link these because they're so freaking cute. It's boob jewelry. Yeah, that's me and Ken Dog. But like, look. Do you see it? Like, it's cute. Okay. It is Kurt. So I will definitely link those down below in my Amazon storefront. Um, these are the shoes that I got. My feet are swollen because, oh, don't mind the ash. I'm finna get in the shower. Um, my feet are swollen. I worked 12 hours yesterday and I've been on a plane for six hours. So yeah, can't do those. But these I got in a bigger size because I figured my feet would be swollen. Those work, they have grip on the bottom. And then this is my dress. 
I really, really like this one. There's a split here. It has a deep V-cut situation. I'm gonna take my Scorpio necklace off because I plan to do one of those. Hope it doesn't turn my chest green. And I got this bag. It's really cute um, from Amazon. I like it. So it's just a little clutch and it does have a what do you call it string holder i don't know whatever that's called comes with that so you can put it over your shoulder but i want to do it as a clutch so cute it will be linked down below and i gotta get in the shower this is the stuff i got from sephora <laughs> instacart this is a this is the concealer this is the Laura Mercier, but this is the translucent. This is, if you notice, the top on this one is pink, not brown. Aaliyah J um, put me onto this. I tried it in the store and I really liked it. It's like the ultra blur. Like, if you like that matte, flawless situation, this is it. But just make sure you get the one with the pink top, not the, uh, the brown or the black top, which is the one that most people talk about. I got a new primer. I didn't get Charlotte Tilbury. I got the milk one again. This is matte, matte. So if you like to be do it and glowy, this ain't for you. However, I've never tried this one, but I'm so excited. And then I got this to try on my hair to help with the frizz because everybody keeps talking about this brand. It's like a serum and a spray that's supposed to be really good at um controlling frizz and i gotta take a shower it's 116 y'all i gotta get it together ebony said pick up is at 345 y'all see me look at it the star now actually the dress is the star of the show but look at my hair i decided to put it up because shaw had told me it was gonna be a lot look my boobs look uneven lord my boobs look uneven but anyway my hair is up why do my boob girl i'm gonna have to fix this hold on but anyway bun because it's a lot and plus the back let me show y'all i gotta i gotta even these boobs up but anyway so the front i wish it had pockets and then the back of the dress so that's why child was like you need to put your hair up but i was like girl no, I, didn't, I didn't grow this i bought this so i had to figure out a way i think i need to slam a few more bobby pins and even up my boobs we'll be back what do we think red i can't remember the last time i wore lipstick <laughs> should have wiped my teeth battery's going dead Muscles. 
whole hold on, girl. All right. So as you can see, I don't know if you can see. However, as you enter the cave, you can put your items right there. You know, little coat rack, all that good little stuff. Are you fine? So then, come in. Yeah, you enter into the into the star. To the star. So you got your drink. You want to get you a little drink right there with a little frosted beverage. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. A couple of little plaques up there. Uh -huh. Hey, hey. Uh -huh. Classic dog. Playing card. You know what I'm saying? Louisiana to Texas. Yeah. There it is. And just relax. Yeah, you know, got the partake, a little hookah and a little smoke. That's for you, Miss Barb, when you come in town. We can, we can cheat a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, Miss B, you, you welcome. You welcome in the cave, anytime. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Then, you know, you want to just sit back, relax. You know what I'm saying? As you can see, the, just ease on up and relax like that. And then you just sit back, relax. Yeah. We're home. It's the end of the night. I'm going to be productive. I'm going to edit. It's actually... It is 11.13 at night. I don't know if I told y'all. Burgers were fire. That Migo made. Everybody ate the Rotel dip. We had a good time just hanging out because, you know, I was gone. So, um, I missed Remy Friday. So, we just got to hang out, catch up, chit-chat. I'm going to just go ahead and close this vlog out. I'm pretty sure. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next vlog. Bye. Thank you.